Hi everyone, I'm here at the rest area. I'm gonna sleep here. So this is gonna be my home for, it has been my home for a few days, for a week now. So here I am. Uh, I usually park either in the back or at the last parking spot or the last right here, if you can see over there, it will be parallel uh, parkings the last one so I have everybody behind me so it's, it's pretty safe here so okay so I'm gonna talk to you about um, how I discharge my my van um, so this this is for um, pretty much anything that you owe I mean you don't owe anything everything is prepaid so that's what the loan companies um, they're not really companies. <laughs> they don't loan anything because they're broke. They are bankrupt. They don't have any money. You owe, you loan the money. You are the creditor. But they make us believe that we are the debtor. But it's okay. It's in their minds anyway. So if you want to discharge um, any, any so-called bill, I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm, I'm not going to show you today, you know, how I send in the instrument. It's called um, um, security instrument. Okay. But before that, it is a security instrument, but it is also, it's first an account receivable. So I'm going to explain to you what an account receivable is, okay? So you understand and how to discharge thing. You can discharge your electric bill, you can discharge your 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 water. It's not really discharge, but we just call it for, you know, just so we can, you know, kind of understand each other. So I'm gonna explain it as best as I can, okay? In this case, uh, I discharged my van uh, monthly payment, er, every monthly payment, but you can also discharge the whole thing. I just wanted to try a couple of months just to make sure uh, it did work. So, and then um, after that, you can discharge all of it, all the car. So I'm gonna show you that this is good for anything, credit cards, mortgage. <laughs> mortgage is a little more complicated, but I would say like light bill, water bill, uh, credit cards, okay, car payments, car loan, they're not really a loan, but they, they think they loan us money, but it's not true. So I'm gonna explain to you how, the, the, the first step that you need to do. The first thing that you need to understand is that you paid for that car. Let's, let's stick to the car. You paid for that car the minute you drove it out. How did it happen? You went into the dealership and you um, applied, you know, had a, so, you know, good credit, however credit you had. You walked in and yeah, they, they said, let, let us check. They go into the back, right, the dealership. Let's go and check, you know, your credit. So they go and whatever and whatever. And they come back and it's like, oh, well, your credit is okay, but you probably gonna have to pay a higher um, payment and interest and all that. Okay, okay, that's good. You don't care at that moment. You just, let's say that you need a car. So, you say, okay, okay. You like the car that you look. You say, you're ready to buy. Yeah, I'm ready to buy. So, they're going to do the contract, right? Just remember that that contract is a unilateral contract. You sign and you sign on the right side of the contract, okay? That means you are the only person that um, signed a contract, okay? Not them. They never sign anything. So the contract itself is fraudulent, but hey, they don't, they don't, you know, in, in a sense, you did sign without knowing. So in a sense, you do have a contract, but it's not a, in commerce, uh, it's not really a, a contract, but hey, for the sake of it, let's just call it a contract because you did no, unknowingly, uh, you signed that contract. So you kind of stuck with that contract. It's unilateral, unilateral contract, but a contract anyway. 
So you walked out, you were happy. They said, yeah, pick up the car, whatever, whatever. And what do they do? What the dealership does? Takes your promissory note that the contract where you sign to the on the right is called a promissory note. What is a promissory note? It is, I promise, a promise to pay, right? So you did a promissory note and they took that promissory note and the dealer sent a 10 right away. You know, the accountant team got into it <laughs> at the dealership. So they filled out a 1099A to send it to the treasury. Okay, not to the treasury, I'm gonna, um, to the to the reserve, Federal Reserve Bank. Okay, so they, Federal Reserve Bank, they send that. They got, let's say that the car was $18,000 in my case. And they took it, uh, they got paid, the dealership got paid from the Federal Reserve Bank. And then they very kindly share that with a loan company or they're not really loan companies, but let's just, for the sake of the, of the conversation, let's call it a loan company. Um, and so, yeah, they sold it to them and then the loan company uh, or the bank uh, did the same thing. Wrote up a 1099A, the 1099A is acquisition or abandonment, abandonment of secure property. So very kindly they did. They picked up another 18,000. And then it doesn't stop there because you, with a signature and your social security, uh, you, op you gave them an open line of credit. So that bank will, s will sell it to another bank or to another institution, another corporation, and goes on and on and on. They take it to the, you know, stock in, you know, to the market. I mean, it's, it's just, you know, you know, a revolving door for, for what they did to you. Okay. Since they open, you gave them, uh, an open, open, um, uh, line of credit, like a blank check, right? you without knowing became you have assets in that company not only the car was paid for but you have assets in there you have securities in there okay so you 45 days later in my case that you start you know you receive the bill that is not a bill that is not a, sta a statement that is not what it is if you look at it it's going to be uh, a bond and a bond has securities attached to them and if you look closely let me see if I can I have let me see if I have um, one of my bills somewhere I just don't want to show my personal information but um, if you look at the bottom part and then you have a check-in and then if you have a check-in uh, a check just take out your check and look at the bottom of the bill let me see if I, I hope it's not too noisy. I have a truck here. Let me see if I can pull up. I mean, I'm not a savvy with the phone and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna, oh, here. I'm just gonna cover this <laughs> somehow. So here's the bill, okay. This is for the credit card, right? So I'm just gonna, not gonna show my, my address. I'm gonna kind of block my address, right? So, um, the the top part is the bond, right? The contract, because they have to, uh, like if if it's like a um, utility company, then they have to send you uh, a contract every every month, every 30 days. You want to find out why every 30 days. <laughs> uh, so, sorry about that, it's just falling. So I just don't want to show my my address, but anyway. So the part, the top part right here, it is the bond and is the contract, right? And then the bottom part, if you see it, what does it look like? It looks like a check, doesn't it? They give you, uh, you they even make you put the, the, the amount, right, of the check. It has routing numbers. It has uh, payable to and from, right? But these are, you know, backwards. And, uh, and the date and all that. So you go ahead and, and send it with a check, right? So they run this part, the bottom part, they run it through as a check. 
and then if you send another check that will be the run it right they run this one they detach it and run it through and then on top of it you send another check that means they let's say that is four hundred dollars so you right there uh gave them uh eight hundred dollars okay so this is uh what happens well i should make another video because i don't want this video to be too long so let's just uh, make another video about the account receivable so you can understand this process okay so i'm going to just uh, kind of pause it here i mean stop it here so this is the process and it's for credit cards uh, mortgage they are fraud they're all fraud there's a few um loan companies that are really loans you know if you did not receive cat you know amount of money put into your bank and then went and bought um the car or the house or whatever it's not it's a fraud transaction you know they'll do this that's how they make their money because they're bankrupt they don't have any money they don't lend any money because they don't have it they use our so a security account because the federal reserve bank has our money and you pay for it because out of your social security account so actually you paid for it but through the um through the the bank you know um so uh, i'm just going to leave it here and this is what happened with your car my car um if you are if you didn't pay cash for it you know so i'm just going to leave it here and i'm going to upload another video and we're gonna talk about what happens there after you buy your car and, or your whatever. Um, we're going to explain account receivables. So you can discharge this thing ASAP. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.